Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Canal Algeria's Midnight 3 Bulletin to the headlines. The fishing fleet is in haste by a third large tuna fishing vessel made in Algeria with state-of-the-art equipment, another major step in achieving food security in the fishing sector. In the framework of the state's strategy to achieve a gradual and responsible energy transition while promoting renewable energy, Sonal Gas Group reveals a list of the provinces concerned with the 15 new photovoltaic plants. Jana to report on infrastructure with modern equipment and various services to meet the needs of visitors of this attractive touristic destination. From Algiers to Iran, this weekend's special documentary introduces us to various Algerian dishes, precisely a street food that piques the curiosity of foreigners. Hello again. Tonight's first story is about the Algerian know-how in the field of shipbuilding that is strengthened with a new 35-meter-long tuna boat, which was delivered on Saturday by the shipbuilding and repair company Korenov. In the presence of the Minister of Fisheries and Fishery Resources, Hisham Sofian Salawachi, and the Minister of Transport, Kamal Biljout, covered by Rina Lirari, commented by Rani al -Bahri. Named after Wafid Zineddin, the third large tuna boat was inaugurated after more than two years of work at the workshop of the private shipbuilding and repair company Korinov. With more than 65% of integration rate, this ship was built by exclusively Algerian labor and equipped with all the necessary equipment. It's a boat of 35 meters long and 8.5 meters large with a principal engine of 1,000 horse. It's equipped with the old necessary materials. It has storage room at minus 20 temperature and another storage room at minus 10 temperature. It has everything needed for high seas navigation. The inauguration took place in the presence of the Minister of Fisheries and Fish Production, Hisham Salawachi, and the Minister of Transport, Kamel Biljoud, who praised the qualitative progress made by Algeria in the field of naval construction. It is a large ship which measures 35 meters. These large boats were built at the level of the fishing grounds of Zamuri in Bumardas province. It is the third large boat in the history of the fishing sector. This achievement will facilitate deep sea fishing for the sector's professional. This year, Algeria's tuna fishing quota had increased from 1,650 tons in 2022 to 2,023 tons. The President of the Republic attaches great importance to this sector, in particular the construction of fishing boats. For its port, my department is working to meet all the necessary conditions for the concretization of this approach. We granted facilitations to Korinov Company, including a plot of land in Bijaya province, so that it ensures the construction and the repair of the ships which were previously built and repaired abroad. Two other fishing vessels of the same size are being built in the port of Hunayn in Tlemcen province. With a delivery expected by the end of the year, the development of this know-how contributes to the strengthening of a naval fleet, which will allow professionals to invest in the field of deep-sea fishing. To the energy sector now, where Algeria's energy policy aims to achieve a progressive and responsible energy transition with the objective of reaching 30% renewable energies by 2035. Rania al Bahri with the full story. During his speech at the opening of the 27th Energy Day organized by the National Polytechnical School of Algiers under the theme Climate Change, Sovereignty and Green Hydrogen. The Minister of Energy and Mines, Mohamed Arqab, indicated that Algeria's energy policy aims to move forward resolutely towards the realization of a progressive and responsible energy transition. The globalization of the energy market has made it more complex and difficult to control the ever increase in demand on energy, which requires to respond to a sustainable, economical and secure way to reduce its impact on the environment, 
Today, the challenges awaiting us require all players in the energy field to move towards consultation and dialogue, as well as the development of cooperation mechanisms in order to preserve natural resources for future generations. For her part, the Minister of Environment and Renewable Energy, Samia Mwalfi, affirmed that the energy transition today constitutes a strategic access for Algeria to achieve a rate of 30% renewable energy by 2035. <laughs> Algeria's commitments to fight against climate change and to play an active role in this sector, in particular through the National Climate Plan 2020-2030, which constitutes a practical tool for implementing the national policy on the fight against climate change and the development of the green economy. The study day was an opportunity for energy experts to lead several conferences with engineering students and made presentations on themes related to energy resources and the project for an efficient, responsible energy model. A strategic road linking Algeria to Mauritania will create new economic prospects between the two countries and will allow for the promotion of Algerian products in Western Africa. Report by Ammar Tawajin, commentary by Minal Ammari. The 773-kilometer road connecting the province of Tindouf to Zwirat in Mauritania will intensify economic exchange between the two countries. This project also aims to increase the volume of exports between Algeria and other West African countries, which was highly welcomed by traders and economic operators. This road will diminish pressure on the local market. It will also facilitate the transportation of goods and opening new markets in Western Africa. As economic operators, we value the project of the road linking Tindouf to Zwirat in Mauritania. Once completed, it will be easier for us to introduce our products and sell our goods in Mauritania and other countries. A logistics base and a free trade zone were created in Tindouf to encourage economic operators. The creation of a logistics base in Tindouf will help the transportation of goods in the import-export operation at the province's border post. A free trade zone with a 10-hectare surface area was also created in Tindouf province. The creation of this road connecting Algeria to Mauritania with its link to the Trans-Saharan Road will strengthen all of the African road network, resulting in a continental economic integration. A company in the facilitations provided for the foreign tourists wishing to visit the Algerian desert. Donat's airport is equipped with modern technologies while its staff is fully mobilized to meet the needs of the visitors of this thriving touristic destination. Rafiq Hamidash. Welcome to Amoud Ben Mukhtar International Airport. New airline services and new challenges. Following the decision to facilitate access to foreign tourists, Janet Airport has known since then an unprecedented activity with different domestic and international flights. This international airport is equipped with a state-of-art technologies and offers a variety of services to meet the needs of passengers to this destination that keeps attracting tourists from all around the world all year long. I'm really impressed how things have really improved since these last three years. Now we have more flights available to different parts of the country and we wish there will be even more destinations. In addition to delivering visa upon arrival, our directorate has provided two exchange offices and ATMs. The international airport has also been equipped with the latest technologies in terms of aviation security, such as the ILS Instruments landing system a precision radio navigation system that provides short-range guidance to aircraft, especially during bad weather. That is very important and helpful, especially during sandstorms or bad weather. The ILS allows us easy approach and landing, which is great achievement for safe landing. 
This new air service added at Amud bin Mukhtar International Airport constitute a plus for the development of tourism in the region, knowing its border and strategic situation with Libya and Niger, making it much easier to travel and visit the Tassili Najar without stopovers for international flights. This weekend's special report is dedicated to Algerian traditional dishes, the Roi du Lubia in Algiers, the famous, famous Karantika in Iran, and more dishes that keep attracting not only Algerians, but even foreigners, as we saw in taste videos that went viral. The documentary is by Raouf Hamouch, taken up by Manel Ammari. At the heart of the capital, precisely the Ahmed Shaib Avenue, traditional cuisine is found in every corner. However, the Roi de la Lubia restaurant is the most popular of them all. Its reputation is very distinguished compared to its relatively small surface area. The best Roi de la Lubia. Millions of people from all categories ate here, then came back again for more. From popular figures, such as artists, to even the poor and the homeless, since the taste remains the same. Even when asked, the chef would not spill the beans regarding this restaurant's special recipe. This restaurant was founded by El Moro and we have been blessed with exceptional success. Since it was this restaurant's reputation in food even reached the other side of the Mediterranean and this video was shared from Italy and seen thousands of times. <laughs> Still in the capital, this time at the Didouche Morat Street, we find a popular restaurant specialized in pizza carré or the famous Algerian square pizza with its unique taste, which still remains affordable. Since we have busy schedules, we come by here to buy food. Since the service is faster, it is delicious and clean. This pizza is so popular that even this employee of the U.S. Embassy in Algiers was promoting it on their social media. Wow, that is really, really good. Yes, now I'm going to have to tell everyone in the United States and in Italy they need to come to Algiers and hopefully the rest of the country to try out pizza carré. In a similar context, in Oran province, famous for its karantika, made with chickpeas, this dish is eaten at all times with a sprinkle of cumin, a side of harissa, as well as a delicious glass of juice. It is one of the traditional dishes that the people love. There are different varieties of it across the west of the country and everyone is able to eat it since it is not expensive. Algerian street food is generous and rich in flavor. Its reputation exceeded the borders and continues. We wrap up tonight's bulletin with these marvelous images from the Shilya Park that is covered with snow these days. Enjoy and good night.